and today I'm going to teach you how to look like Cindy Lou Lou from The Grinch. So what I'm going to be teaching you in this video is how to do the makeup and the hair which is gonna take like an hour, and then like the stuff you will need to wear. So the things you will need is for your hair, you will need a bottle to put it here. But if you have short hair, maybe you wanna cut the bottle to be a little more shorter. But I have long hair and look, <coughs> even this whole thing doesn't fit. So I'm just gonna use one of this without cutting it. All the things you need for your hair is some bobby pins, some elastics, you'll need bows, red bows, two small ones to go on each side, a bigger bow to go right at the top, and these pipe cleaner things to put in your braid so it can like stay better because the hair kind of goes like this. And yeah, I think that's all for the hair. For the makeup, I'm going to be using some primer, some foundation, highlighter, bronzer and blush, also maybe some clear powder for your face, mascara, pink lipstick, and maybe some like light pink eyeshadow like this color or something like that, and then just a sponge to mix and also brushes to put the blush and stuff. Yeah. Now I'm going to be showing you the things that you need to wear. So the things you need to wear is a like kind of blue dress like this, or any like kind of square checkered dress this style kind of thing. A cape. I don't have a red cape so I'm just gonna use this pink. Some gloves. Maybe I'll use these or these ones. Some socks with this little thing which I actually made. I'm also gonna be wearing these black flat shoes. They're kind of all hairy um yeah because they're like in the closet. She actually has like a little strap here but I couldn't find it so I'm just gonna wear these. If you want you can wear red leggings. I just found these. I put red leggings on the list. These have like holes. I'm not gonna wear these. I'm also just gonna wear white leggings. Why am I stretching it? Um, yeah, because it's supposed to be like winter and like your legs will be cold. So I'm just gonna wear this. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's all. If I miss anything, I'm gonna be writing everything you need in the description. So yeah, let's get started with the makeup first. So first what you want to do is wash your face, and I just washed it with a wet wipe, and then you want to put some primer. Oh yeah, I also forgot she has bangs, so I'm gonna use this clip bang thing. If you don't have bangs, just like buy this clip bang that I can put right here. Yeah, so you also don't need to be doing your forehead. But yeah, I forgot I was wearing bangs, so I didn't even need to do this. Oh um, yeah. Now I look like a vampire! Move out of the way! My stupid glasses collection keeps falling. If your hair's annoying, like mine, put this on. I always keep forgetting to. It's so annoying. There. Once you've done the primer, make it like dry. And then after it's dry, it's not even dry, whatever. Put it on. I mean, put foundation. Why does my skin always do that? Whatever, you're not even gonna see from far away. Look, you can't even see it. Okay, so after you are done blending, um, I'm gonna try and put powder. The clear powder on my face. Looks kind of better, look. Looks like more smoother if you put powder and like kids faces are smooth. So once you are done your face, you will want to start doing your nose. I'm gonna do like a button nose and like make it kind of smaller because Oh, my nose is bad. <laughs> yeah. Why are my eyes red? That doesn't make sense. I didn't even do anything. So for the nose, I'm gonna use this like sideways brush and put bronzer. This color is kind of wrong. It's like kind of red. I don't know. It doesn't really work that good. See, look, it's like red. It looks weird. Looks like I got hit in the nose. <gasps> what was that sound? I did two notes at the same time. So because my bronzer is a weird color, I'm gonna use one of these. I don't know which one yet. I hate colors. What is crooked? What is that? My nose looks bigger. I'm just gonna restart the nose part. So for the nose, you will want to do some bronzer. I'm going to be using kind of like this color, like a dark brown. First, what I'm going to do is put like a little and then just kind of do the sides to make it look smaller. And then I'm going to do the bottom of my nose. So I'm just gonna like put some shadow in like a circle. And then at the top, I'm gonna put some highlighter. So it looks like it's kind of like going out more like a button nose thing. And then also you want like a little here. And also, if you think your nose is too red, it's like winter and like in the cold, your nose is supposed to get red. Then I'm going to blend it a little with a bigger brush like this. And then you'll want to put some highlighter and just put it right here. 
on your nose. Maybe a, like a little also up here, just a tiny bit, but like not right where you put the line. And yeah, it should look like you have a... That, why is that so shiny? This nose is so bad, maybe you can do better. That's it for the nose. Now, you want to put some blush. So I'm just gonna put like, like do this. And then go like right. Because yeah, it's cold outside and your cheeks get like pink like this. So after you had done the blush like this, this took so long, I don't know why. Because I kept making it too big and it still looks uneven. So then what you want to do is, I'm so dumb. I did my eyebrows. She actually has light eyebrows, so I didn't know why I didn't just leave them. So yeah, now they kind of look a little dark because I erased it off. Don't do your eyebrows if you have light eyebrows like me. And if you have dark eyebrows, don't, don't. If you have eyebrows, just don't do it. <laughs> Next is mascara. Now if you have fake eyelashes, long ones, use them, but I don't have any fake eyelashes. She has like really long eyelashes. I don't think I'm gonna put any eyeshadow because my eyes are already red. I don't know why. I'm actually gonna put like a little white under my eyes to make me look like I'm a kid. What is in my eye? See, look, I kind of look like a kid, yeah? I don't know. So I think for the last thing for your makeup is lipstick time. I'm just gonna put like a light pink. This is not even light pink. I don't even have a light pink. The only light pink one I have is this one and like it's open. I don't know what this is. I looked at the nail polish color and I was like, wait, I should use that because it's light pink. And because she's a kid, I'm gonna do my lips small. And my lips are already small, so I'm not gonna like outline or anything. Yeah, I think you are done. I almost forgot I had to do that hair, which is gonna take like 30 minutes. Okay, so now once you are done your makeup, you want to do your hair. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is she has like braids sticking out here. So you want to like cut like a top part because this is all gonna go up. You want to cut this top part off and like at the bottom here, you want to just take like a little. So I'm actually gonna put a clip on it so like make sure that both sides are even. And then go all the way around your head and then just clip it out of the way. So it doesn't get annoying in the way. And then on both sides, go to start, start like here. And then just like make sure it's like equal. And then just get like some. And take these pieces away. And then make sure nothing's connected. And then feel if they're like even, they're kind of even. Life hack, if you don't have a hair clip, use a bow. So now once you have two pieces, ow, so much hair just fell out. You want to start the braid. You look like a clown guy. Then once you're like up to here, you want to put this and like make it stay inside somehow. Go like this and then put it like a little up and then put a piece over it. And then just go slowly to make sure it doesn't fall out. And then if this is showing a lot, just like put the hair in front of it to make it go out of the way. Why am I talking to no one if I know I'm gonna make this part faster? Then once we're at the end, if you have long hair, just keep braiding all the way until the end. I hate when this happens when only one piece is so shorter than the other. And then you will want to tie it. Now if these parts are showing a little, just kind of hide it. You should actually use like a brown kind of this, but I only found white. And now time for the other side. I'll come back when I'm done. Um, what thing should I do? Um. Whoa, it's done. Now the next part is the hardest part. You want to put this part up. See, you need this part to go up. Don't put this in the braid. You want to put all of your hair going up all the way to the top. I'm gonna move my camera back so you can see everything. Actually before, I'm just gonna connect these so they're not like flying everywhere. Ow! See, some parts are still connected in the br- I just pulled out so much hair. Get out, you're not supposed to be in there. Are you stupid? You're wrecking my braid. 
I just wrecked my braid. There were some stupid parts that got stuck in the braid and I tried to rip the- Now I have to redo it because it broke it all. Okay, so you want to put all of your hair down and make sure it's like all smooth and make sure you don't brush where you put your braids. Why am I getting bald? I don't have any hair left. Then you will want to open the front of your hair and kind of put the bottle inside your hair and make sure all hair around it is like covering it so you don't see the bottle. And then go up and make sure you can't really see. Ooh, you can see it. Then once you have it all around and equal, make sure it's like in the middle. You can still see it because my hair is stupid. You want to put elastic on the lid first. Then you want to move out of the way. Then you want to tighten it. And then even this kind of hide this stupid bottle because my hair is stupid. Then you want to put another elastic on top of the lid. There, look. That took forever. Um, as you can see, my hair is so long. Um, I don't know what to do with this part. Do you sometimes when you look up, your eyes get crooked out of place and then when you look normal, it's like your eyes are crooked or something? Then if you want, you can put hairspray, but I'm not gonna put that in because it's gonna make my hair stupid when I take it out and ugh, I'm not gonna put that in. Oh um, yeah, pretend you can't see a bottle. There, <laughs> then you are done. Why can't I breathe? Take these out slowly. I shouldn't have did an elastic. Will you move? <laughs> Why do I look like I'm in a circus? Oh yeah, I almost forgot you have to put the bangs on too. But first, you want to connect these here and then the other side. This one's not staying. I hate these. They don't even work. I hate hair so much! Pause. Oh, what did you just do? I was fixing my trying to get this stupid braid and the stand fell all of a sudden. What the heck just happened? I never touched it. Did it- did it- what just fell off? I wasn't recording because I paused it. Because I'm taking so long and wasting storage. Now look, it's gonna be sideways forever. I still didn't get this stupid thing to stay on. These stupid pins keep bending! I finally made them stay. Now, to hide these ugly elastics, you wanna put some red bows right on it. Yeah, look it. Okay, now, with this stupid part now for the last thing a big bow i made this out of <laughs> i made this out of metal ribbon stuff um and i put an elastic around it so what i'm gonna do is put the elastic through this hair sticking out and then kind of go like this actually this bow makes the hair out of my no it doesn't whoa this does not stay anymore um look what happened to my stand so this broke here and i tried to like make it go the other way but look What the heck is wrong with you? Finally, I fixed my stand. Okay, so after you're done everything that I did, maybe I should have put this before, but I'm gonna put the bangs. You look. Now I look more like a kid. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bangs and I'll come back when I do it. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. I tried to like cover this bottom more. Oh yeah, and also what I did with the ends of these braids, I just like put this side on this side and put it on the pin and then this side on this side. And yeah, you can like kind of cover maybe with these and also kind of cover where the bangs start if you're wearing fake bangs. Yeah, now I'm gonna try and put on the dress. Time to put on the dress and... Whoa, why is this so low? This is the only dress I have of this kind. And then the cape. Whoa! So now I'm gonna put the pants on. I actually already did. I'm not gonna show my leg, that's weird. And then I'm going to put these socks that I made. I'm gonna put a video while I'm talking of fast motion of me making it. So all I did was put like this, I don't even know what it's called, thing. And then just kind of sewed it around the sock because I was like looking up where to get these and like each one was like $30. So I was like, why don't I just make my own? And I did. Why can't I breathe? Because I just put my pants on. So now I go put these on and yeah. Oh, and also when you're making this sock, make sure you keep stretching it out. Yeah, because when you put it on, it'll like, it won't fit. And then the last thing is the shoes and then gloves. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera away so you can also see my shoes. Whoa, everything is so cut off. You can't even see anything. What if I just do like this? Ew, look, I'm feeling vertical way, but you can see everything that I'm wearing. So I'm wearing these shoes and then these socks and also some white pantyhose thing. Yeah.
you are done. And then you can say Fahu Fa Race Da Hu Do. Yeah, on that song. So yeah, I hope. Oh, what was that? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this weird tutorial thing of how to look like Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch. I guess that's it.